It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Bateman's Brewery and it's a bottle of the Hazelnut Brownie, part of this sovereign range of beers. I look forward to this. A little bit of change of tact from Bateman's. The last time I reviewed a beer from them, um, it was a kind of a, a strange peppercorn beer. You had to put the pepper in the top. Wasn't keen on it whatsoever, but since then they've kind of changed tact and I like it I like this new design I like the fact they call themselves craft brewers because 1874 let's do the maths put me on the spot let's do the maths right 74 that's 26 takes you up to 1900 that's 126 years that's 130 years with a four and ten that's 140 years of brewing 2014 we're making this video 140 years of brewing why can they not call themselves craft brewers i believe they can and i believe they have the right because We've had a lot of history. We've had a lot of stuff going on since 1874. Well, the Titanic sunk in between that time. I'm not saying that's going to affect brewing at Bateman's Brewing or Brewery, but we had World War One, World War Two. We had the 30s Depression. We've had the 2007 Great. Recession, as they're calling it now, and they're still going. So it's not a brewery like this only survives if they brew good beer. You brew bad beer, you're not going to live through two world wars, depressions, recessions, booms and busts, and and all sorts of different changes in the brewery's lifespan. Right, hazelnut brownie. We will get to the beer in a minute, but I'm on a bit of a point here and I want to carry on. Uh, first of all, before I do, the beer is 6.3% ABV. Now, when I first started reviewing beer, I started off, one of the first beers I reviewed, it was probably the first 20 beers I reviewed, one of them beers was Victory Ale. And I really enjoyed the Victory Ale back then. I thought it was a cracking pint. I was new to beer. I was wet behind the ears. I started off as a regular bitter drinker, 3.2% bitters in the, in the working man social club, or I'd be drinking Carling. So, First 20 beers, you pick up a Victory Ale, bang, it was my first 10 out of 10 beer. It absolutely blew my mind. But as I kind of tasted beers over the next four and a half years where we are today, I tried beers from different countries and I've got into different styles and I've judged and I've brewed beers with different breweries. And somewhere along the line, I kind of kind of I think craft brewing I think all of the new beers coming out with so much flavor I went back to drinking uh, the, the, the beers from Bateman's and they didn't seem to be where I first thought they were back when I was a wet behind the ears beer drinker or reviewer and then then that peppercorn beer come to me and I was really angry, really angry and, and, and I was furious. What I, I can't even remember the name of the beer. Um, Google it, stick it in my YouTube channel, Bateman's Brewery Pepper Beer. I'm sure you'll find it or just search Bateman's Brewery in my uploads and you'll see that I reviewed a, some kind of pepper beer. But I was really angry, really, really angry. Um, in the review I didn't know where they were going this brewery which I loved the beers I, I, at the beginning I thought they were a great kind of brewer 
And then to go down that road, I thought, oh, come on, what are you doing? But long story short, let's cut that long story away. It looks like to me that, well, look at that. I like that. You've got a classic English wax stamp on the label to say, hey, yeah, we're old. We've been brewing since 1874. We can do that. And the fact that they've called themselves craft brewers, I think it's bold, but I think it's, it's, it's a way to go. I really do. I like that. And while I've been talking, I've been smelling the beer from, from a distance of, of about, I don't know, beer. And I can pick up lovely kind of roasted chocolate, coffee, caramel, hazelnut. And sticking it up to my nose. Wow, 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 wow. That smells absolutely fantastic. You actually smell the nut. That, that nutty smell. It's there with a big lump of, big dollop of sweetness. But before we taste the beer, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk. They're the UK's largest online beer store with beers from the UK, great beers like this from the UK. Beers from the great brewing countries of America, Belgium, France, Italy. I hope Poland soon. Poland are brewing some great beers. Um, yeah, if you want good beer, check out beersofeurope.co.uk. I cannot wait anymore. I've held you guys up too long. Let's get the taste. Mmm. Great aroma. Yeah. And a great taste. A great taste. Took a few mouthfuls. Wanted to take a few mouthfuls. It's a big strong beer. It's 6.3% ABV. I have done two beer reviews before I've reviewed this beer. So, I wanted to clean my palate. But yeah, chocolate, coffee, caramel, nice body to the beer. It, it looks it looks a little thin, but it's not. It's got that kind of creamy consistency that you want from something that's called hazelnut brownie. If, you could, if it's got the word chocolate, oats, barley, brownie, Hazelnut, you want a good body. It's telling you on the bottle, it's got to have all, it's telling you it's a good body. So it has to have a good body. And it delivers. It does deliver on that. It would be a great shame if this beer was thin and watery. But with that nice, clean, it's a clean taste, but with that kind of wrapping mouthfeel, that sticky mouthfeel, is still refreshment. They've managed to balance out a big gloopy stout. They've got in between a big gloopy stout in my left hand, say, and a really thin, watery, rubbishy drink. They've hit it in the middle. So, so you've got refreshment there as well.
little bit of cherry, little bit of raspberry. Very sweet, it's a very sweet beer. It's very more, it's very more sweet than it is bitter. Again, you would expect that. Don't get any of that 6.3% ABV alcohol. It's not there at all in the taste, which is another good thing. Head's gone, but there we go. I think generally from the last beer I had, that pepper beer from Bateman's, I think this is a great comeback. This is a great comeback from Bateman's Brewery. Um, yeah, I like it. I like this. It's in a nice 330 bottle. It's 6.3% ABV. It says exactly what it says on the label and it delivers in the taste. That's all you want. Okay. It's a little bit synthetic. It's a little bit kind of... It's a little bit overly sweet. But we can forget all that. We can forget all that because it's a great comeback from Bateman's Brewery. I'm going to give this beer an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. Thanks for watching. Check out beersofeudup.co.uk. Check out Hazelnut Brownie from Bateman's Brewery. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.